then it cancels out. It's free. Girl math. welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new weekly vlog i have been attempting to vlog for the past few weeks and for some reason i just have not been loving the footage i really need to get out of my head and get out of this whole like perfectionist mindset because let's be real like perfectionism is so vain <laughs> number one it's so vain because it's like no one's perfect except for god numero uno so to think that you can be perfect is quite vain but also it's just it's really just fear it's fear of letting people see your mistakes and your flaws we're just gonna vlog and we're going to, whether we like the footage or not, whether we feel like the vlog is good enough or perfect enough or not, we're gonna vlog and we're gonna continue to vlog. Yeah, welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Naki and welcome to this little corner of the internet. I'd love it if you subscribe and join our little family. We're pretty cool over here, we're pretty chill. We like to have fun. We like to chill and have a good time and enjoy life. And of course, if you're not new here, welcome back. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing today. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of start the vlog off. Today is actually uh, Wednesday, November 1st. It's my birthday month. I don't know what that was, but anyways, it is November 1st. Oh, this is like the perfect time to start a new vlog. It's the first of the month. And I don't know, it's any time is a, is a good time to start a new vlog. But anyways, it's November 1st. It's currently 4.34 p.m. Um, I've just been working for the most part today. Uh, what did I do? I feel like I got such a late start to my morning, honestly. And then I've just been prepping some outfits for some reels that I want to post, some photos that I want to capture across uh, Instagram and TikTok. So I've been planning for that most of the day and just kind of like getting my clothing rack in order. I got a sew-in yesterday and um, I this hair is supposed to be 16 inches and 18 and 16. Why is it all the way down here? Do y'all see this? Look, like my hip is right here the hair stops here. I wanted it to be like right below my boob right here 
all this extra. You probably can't see it because my shirt is black, but like all this extra, extra. This is not the hair that I have been using for my last couple of sew-ins because <laughs> I'd be so unprepared. I, no, I'm actually not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. In this scenario, I was quite unprepared for my sew-in. So I scheduled my appointment. I planned on using the same hair that I have used for like my past three sew-ins. And it was also the hair that I used for my wedding. And my stylist for my wedding, she asked me if she could cut a couple tracks and you know, do whatever. And I said, girl, do what you gotta do. This is one of the most important days of my life. If you gotta chip, chop, cut, snap, do whatever to them, to them tracks, do what you gotta do. So she did what she had to do. My hair was absolutely gorgeous. I had like a really big low bun, like, like, y'all haven't seen my wedding pictures yet. They will likely be posted before the end of the year. But anyways, I had like a really big low bun and uh, it was gorgeous, so gorgeous. Literally exactly what I wanted for my wedding day hair. And I, at that night, I took it out, them 50 million bobby pins, I took them things out my head. I threw my tracks in my bag where I store my tracks and I didn't look back. <laughs> until Monday night because I had to get a sew in on Tuesday afternoon. So I go to wash the tracks on Monday night, which you really supposed to wash your tracks as soon as you take them out. That was that was my bad. I was supposed to wash them tracks a long time ago. But I went to go wash the tracks Monday night and I started pulling them out the bag and they were like this wide, like a bunch of a bunch of little pieces like this. There was like one full track, one half track, and then the rest of them like this. And I was like, I'm not gonna do that to my stylist, my my sewing stylist. I was like, there's no way I could take all these tracks to her and have them have her try to piece them together in a sew-in. So this is different hair than what I have been using for my my past couple sew-ins. I will say this is definitely a bit more coarse than the other hair that I use. This is like a, a an Indian, like a raw Indian hair, and it's like quite thick. I love the fullness of it. When my stylist first started curling it, I was like, oh, this is big. Like this hair is really big. I wasn't even sure that it was gonna be able to curl because it's very, very, very textured. But the more I have it, I'm like, mm, I like this. I'm actually really enjoying this hair. It's very big. The issue that I'm having is that it's not really holding much of a curl. So yeah, I may need to buy a new curling iron. I typically just use my flat iron to curl my extensions, but this may need like a real professional <laughs> curling iron. So I don't know. I don't even know what kind to get. My sewing stylist recommended one for me, but that thing is like $150, $160. I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Cause typically you go to Target and a curling iron is like $50 or less. So I don't know, I may make the investment. I may not, I haven't decided yet. I'm trying to do a lot better. I'm just all over the place right now. <laughs> but we, you know, we haven't talked in a minute. We haven't caught up in a minute. I am doing my best to steward my money a lot better, be a lot more choiceful about my spending and what it is taking me on the inside. It's the Sephora sale right now what it is taking me to not go ham on the Sephora app right now is taking a lot of constraint, is taking a lot of self-control. But yeah, I just wanna be a much better steward of my money, of my time, of my energy, of my resources, just everything. Just making sure that I'm not spending, whether it be money, time, anything, just for the sake of spending, but actually truly spending on things and people and whatever that like actually is purposeful if that makes any sense there are a couple things that i, I look i'm gonna get from sephora because it's on sale but yeah i just wanted to kind of check in with y'all say hello welcome to a new vlog and let's see what we get up to this week and this weekend that's all for now we're gonna go to dinner later. I don't know where. I'm not even worried about fancy or cute right now. I just want a really good meal. Also, Keith Lee 
if y'all like follow Keith Lee or like know about Keith Lee, he came to Atlanta, I think this past weekend and has been going ham on these Atlanta restaurants and these weird rules that they be having. They don't do call in orders. They don't do takeout. They don't do this. They don't do that. The, the wait time is two hours. Like he is going in on these restaurants and I'm like, it's about time. Now who gonna go in on the hairdressers though? Cause the way they, th these rules, luckily all the stylists that I have, I love them. They don't be having a 50 million different rules and be disrespectful and all that kind of stuff. However, I've had my share of experiences. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm just rambling. I'll see y'all later. Today is Friday, November 3rd. It is currently 1.11 in the afternoon. I just pulled up to Lennox really quickly because I need to run. A, well, this is one of the errands that I need to run, but I'm out running errands right now. So the first stop is Lennox because I bought a coach purse. Not a coach purse. I keep saying, I keep calling it a coach purse. A coach wallet earlier this week or the end of last week. I can't remember when I bought it, but. I have been needing a new wallet, not exaggerating, for probably like the last nine months. I have gone a very long time without, always got to keep the doors locked, especially at Lennox. Anyways, I have gone like the last nine months without a wallet. I don't know where my wallet is. I misplaced it. I don't know how I misplaced it. And I know I misplaced it versus it being stolen because... I have all my cards. Everything that was in my wallet, I have. My ID, my driver's license, my cards, my debit card, credit card, all that kind of stuff, I have. So I know no one stole it because you steal a wallet for the money. You don't steal a wallet just for the wallet, you know? So I know I misplaced it. I bought a Coach One at some point earlier and I knew I wasn't in love with it, but I still bought it anyway because I need a wallet. And then I went online on the Coach website and I saw one, I saw a couple actually that I liked a lot more than the one I bought at the store. So I'm gonna return this one because I ordered one online and hopefully it should get here by next week. I don't know, the shipping is kind of weird because it said three to five days. It's giving more like seven to 10. Definitely giving seven to 10. And then I also wanna stop by Journeys because I think they have the Uggs that I want in my size. I want the like the slide-on slipper platform Uggs. 
they're not going to be the regular ones because I am a kid's size. I wear kid sizes in shoes. And the kid size platform is about probably half an inch to an inch shorter than the adult size shoe. Which honestly I'm fine with because the way I'm so clumsy, I probably don't even need that big old platform anyway. So I think they have it. I looked online and they said they do have it in my size at the Journeys in Linux. So I'm going to see if they have those. And if so, I'll get those. And then I ain't going to hold y'all. I'm going to Sephora. I'm not, I don't, actually, maybe I'll just go to the one here because I'm already here. That way I won't have to stop at Atlantic Station. Let me check the app really quickly to make sure all the stuff that I want is in stock at Lennox because if so I'll just get it from here why is it not letting me click mm -hmm. it looks like everything I want is here it's only three things it's only three things I promise I probably should have done a pickup order that way I didn't even have to go in the store and browse but it's too late we're already here and it's only, I'm gonna stick to the three things the way that I'm thinking about this is that if I return the coach wallet and then I go to Sephora and I spend the same amount as Sephora that I spent on the coach wallet, technically it's free because me getting money back for the coach wallet is technically free money. It's like a credit, you know what I'm saying? So if I then take that free money or that credit and I use it for my Sephora purchase, then it cancels out. It's free girl math it's free so yeah so that's really it and then let me check my to-do list to make sure that there's nothing else I need to do Sephora journeys I do need to stop by Target because I need some new toothbrush heads my toothbrush has been screaming at me when it's time to replace my toothbrush heads it will literally just beep like crazy if I use an old toothbrush head or a toothbrush head that needs to be replaced. And apparently all three of my toothbrush heads <laughs> are at the point of needing to be replaced. So I need to stop at Target to get those. Yeah, that's it. Oh, also I didn't even show y'all, but yesterday I got my lashes done. I got my lashes done. My girl did an amazing job as always. I really wanted to vlog it. But when I tell y'all, I am so awkward when it comes to vlogging in front of people or asking people to vlog. It's just, I don't know why I'm just so awkward. I'm so awkward. And it's it's weird because she knows I'm a vlogger. She knows I do YouTube. She asks me all the time, like, how's it going and stuff like that. But it was just, there's just something about the, do you mind if I record this? It's just something about it that just gives me heart palpitations. I just, I don't know why I feel so weird and nervous asking people to vlog stuff, which is why I don't be vlog, it just be us in these vlogs. My husband sometimes, because I mean, he be around me all the time when I'm vlogging. But outside of that, I just be, I get so nervous vlogging in public or vlogging around people or asking people like, hey, is it okay? Like, do you mind being recorded? Or I don't know, because it's, Nine times out of ten, people will, won't will even mind anyway, but it's the one time out of ten, I just, I be so scared. I be so scared. I say all that to say I got my lashes done. I feel like a new woman. I have been looking crusty and busted this past month, but when my hair is done, my lashes are done, I really need to get my brows limited too. Last time I did that, <laughs> they fell out. But am I going to do it again? Yes, because they grew back. They grew back. But I had a whole bald spot. It, honestly, it's still in the process of growing back. So maybe I'll wait till they fully grow back to get them laminated again because they look really good when they're laminated. I can show y'all the wallet really quickly. I can't get this. I tried to put it back in the wrapper. It's not going back. But this is what the wallet looks like. It's just a simple small wallet. Looks like lord jesus um yeah a simple small wallet i don't like really big wallets because i just i don't they're not really my thing so it's just a nice simple one but it's just something about this texture of leather that i'm not a really big fan of i like smooth leather a lot more yeah i'm returning this one and i guess i'll show y'all next week 
when I get the other wallet. I'm really going to try and get this in here. Let's see if I can get it in here. Honestly, it doesn't even matter because they're going to rip it out the... They're going to rip it out the paper as soon as I return it because they're going to inspect it. Ooh, we got most of it in. All right, well, that's good enough. All right, let me return that and then see about buying this other stuff and I will see y'all later. We got the goods um I spent way more in Sephora than I anticipated I didn't really need everything but I mean look I just got a little small bag anyways let's do a little haul so the first thing that I got is something that I've been wanting to try for a while these are the faded uh what are these the faded topicals brightening and clearing eye masks i got these because my eyes i feel like have just they've been like real dark lately and i feel like they they just been looking a little dry i have started using an eye cream i got some kiehl's eye cream in pr a couple weeks ago and i am loving that eye cream but i also just wanted to try these eye patches or eye masks from faded i've seen a lot of people talk about these and use these and people see great results with them so i'm gonna try them just because i don't know like i said i'm starting to see like dark circles around my eyes and they are just they have been feeling really dry lately and a little wrinkly so hopefully this can help with my aging eyes because i mean i guess i'm aging i also picked up this uh amy cole amy cole Y'all know I do not know how to say the name of this uh, <laughs> this brand. I want I feel like it's Amy Cole. It's gotta be. There's just no way it can be anything but that. But I got their uh, their lip. What is this? A lip treatment oil. I have or I had this. I also misplaced this, and this stuff is so good. Lip, this is probably my all time favorite like lip oil or lip treatment anything like that so this is what it looks like and i picked it up in the color excellence it's in the color excellence it, this is literally like the perfect nude colored lip gloss lip oil whatever for darker skinned women so i love this stuff I also got this Fenty Butter Drop. This is in the limited edition situation. It's like a cinnamon, warm cinnamon shimmering whipped oil body cream. So yeah, it's like this. It's re it's it's just the Fenty body cream body butter. Um, I have never tried a Fenty body cream or body butter because I ain't gonna hold you almost $50. For some lotion as my husband would say that is nasty filthy business nasty business however i've just been wanting to try it because i feel like everyone talks about it everyone raves about it and i just kind of wanted to see like what the hype is about um i legit stood in the store in sephora for like 15 or 20 minutes debating if i should get this one or if i should get the like the original color or the original scent one in the purple container and if it's one thing i'm gonna do is sit in a store and contemplate between 
products like i will sit in a store for not even exaggerating 20 minutes and just decide like do i want this or 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 do i want this girl pick something and move on honestly that's how i make a lot of my decisions that's why i don't i be moving so slow I, girl pick make a choice and move on this is me talking to myself in the future make a choice and move on you don't need to overthink it anyways um so yes i overthought <laughs> this or the original and then i decided on this one just because it's limited edition and it's probably gonna go away after the season is over versus the purple container like the original flavor original scent um i can get any time of the year so that's why i decided to go with this one it smells like a gingerbread cookie it's it literally smells like a gingerbread cookie and then the last two products that I got are makeup products. So I have been wanting to try this Born This, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Um, for the most part, I only use the NARS Creamy Concealer, but people rip and rave about this concealer. So I don't know. I just wanted to try it, see how I like it. And yeah, we're going to see. I got the color Mocha. So this was kind of the closest that the girl could find for me to my NARS Creamy Concealer, which I'm in the color Amand or Almond, Amand, I don't know, one or the other. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm sure y'all have seen it 50 million times already, but yeah, this is also like a pretty decently sized bottle. And then last but not least, I didn't really need this, but I figured it's, this is a product that I use all the time, so why not get it while it's 50? 15% off or was it 20% off? I can't remember. I think it was 15% off. I could have sworn that I was a, a, rouge, a rouge, rouge, rogue, whatever the highest level of the Sephora loyalty program is. I could have sworn I was the highest level. Apparently I'm not. Apparently I'm like the middle one, whichever, cause it's like three tiers, whichever the middle one is, apparently that's what I am. I know I'd be spending more at Sephora. I don't know about that. But anyways, I got the Merit, uh, what is this? The Merit Perfecting Complexion Stick. So you can use this as a concealer or you can also like pack it on and use it as a foundation. I use it to conceal any discoloration that I have on my face. And it's just like a little stick thing. It just looks like this. If you've seen any of my makeup videos from like the past year or so, you would have seen me use this because this is literally a, a must have staple for me. And that's it for Sephora. And my total came up to $149 for one, two, three, four, five, five products. I mean, I think that's pretty decent. I don't know what it would have been without the 15% off. Oh, I'm a VIP, VIB level. I feel like last year I was a rogue or a rogue, rouge, whatever that thing's called. Also, I ended up having to go to Cumberland Mall because Journeys did not have the um, the size of Uggs that I was looking for. When I say these things are sold out everywhere, for the most part, across sizes, these things are sold out, but especially in like big kid sizes, most places don't have anything higher than a three, which I thought I was going to be fine with because... I'm typically, I'm sorry, my sewing, just like right here. Oh, I need a, I need a rat tooth comb to just get right in there. I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, either way, you can't find these things nowhere. Like, and I'm not a big, like ordering online person. I order a lot of my clothes online because I have to, because like sizing, but if I don't have to, I won't. I will go to the store and buy them because I feel like if I'm paying my, if you're getting my money right now, I want my product right now. I don't want my product in three to 10 business days. You got my money today. I want my product today. That's how I feel. I went to Journeys at Lenox. They only had a size three. I tried on the size three because I am typically a size three in kids with most shoes or a size five in women's, which is equivalent to a size three in kids. And they only had a size three. I tried on the size three and it fit, but it fit a little too snug for my liking. So I needed a size four and the girl like searched and searched and searched and it was, and it said they had one at Cumberland Mall, 
which was like another 20 minute drive. So I called Cumberland Mall just to make sure they had it. The guy who answered the phone was like super, super nice. He was like, oh, we have it. I'ma hide him for you. So his name was T at Cumberland Mall, Journey's Kids. Shout out to him because he made sure I got these shoes. No, I have them. They're so cute. I just, I'm obsessed. When I say these things are so comfortable, and I have like the high, the high boot Uggs, but getting them things on and off when you got to take your dog out late at night or early in the morning or when you're just trying to run a quick errand, it's just kind of annoying. So I just wanted something that I could slip on and off. This is what they look like. Again, I'm sure y'all have seen them. So many people have them. I kind of wanted the ones that have the brown and tan trimming as opposed to the red. But at this point, I was like, I can't really be picky because <laughs> you got to get what you can get considering most of them are sold out. The platform isn't as high as the adult size, but I don't know, I actually kind of like this more than the bigger platform. I kind of feel like it's a bit more just like time, timeless and classic. My sister's having a Friendsgiving bonfire tonight, so I'm about to head to her house in a little bit. Um, so I think I'm gonna wear these to that just to be cozy and comfy quick little outfit of the night before I head out. I'm wearing some black leggings. These are Lululemon. The dress code is black leggings. I don't know why my sister said to wear black leggings, but she said since it's gonna be cold outside and I guess for pictures so that all the girls are wearing black leggings, I'm wearing black leggings from Lululemon. Up top, I am wearing this gray sweatshirt from Aritzia. It's just like a plain oversized gray sweatshirt. This bomber jacket is vintage. I got it from uh, I don't know the name of it. I'll include the, the link to the vintage clothing store in the, the description box, but this is like a legit bomber jacket, like legit as in fireproof material. Like this, the material of the jacket is fully fireproof. For my shoes, of course, I'm wearing my Ugg Taz slipper shoes that I just got today. And then for my bag, I am just wearing my everyday Louis Vuitton, Neo Noe. Outfits of the day. Just super neutral, minimal, and I'm just trying to stay warm tonight. Mm -hmm. 